great is your faithfulness to me great is your faithfulness to me from the rising sun to the setting same i will bless your name from the rising sun to the setting same i will praise your name come on great is your faithfulness to me great is your faithfulness to me from the rising from the rising sun to the setting same i will bless your name from the rising sun to the setting same i will praise your name great is god's faithfulness to us great is god's faithfulness to us from the rising from the rising sun to the setting same we will praise his name from the rising sun to the setting same we will praise his name from the rising sun to the setting same you should praise his name from the rising sun to the setting say you should praise his name from the rising sun to the setting same i will praise god's name from the rising sun to the setting same i will praise his name cause great is his faith fullness to me great is this faithfulness to me from the rising sun to the setting sun we will learn God's name from the rising sun to the setting sun It's a call. That's why we need the other phone, right? I'm so sorry. You guys, forgive me. Welcome, Mr. Yukari. Thank you for coming. God bless you. I'm glad to have you on a chapter a day. I am totally and completely excited for every single person who stops by, even if it's just for a minute, just for a split second, and you just say, Hello, princess. How are you doing? Hope you're good. I'm grateful. Just stopping by here and clicking on this is actually something it means a lot to me thank you so so much god bless you i've missed you guys on fga like my phone has been bad for a very long time i've not been able to get it repaired so it's still at the repairs out soon join you guys i've missed you guys like crazy okay so this is a chapter a day if you're just tuning in and on here we get to know who i in christ the power possess the things we can and cannot do so that we can live a beautiful christian life here on earth and end up spending eternity with God in heaven. Heaven in view. That's the whole idea. And of course, on here we'll also do the birthday party where we wish people, a lot of people, happy birthday. Um, we tell them who they are to us and all that. And then we make the world know as well. Because I believe and I read that a wise person once said that anything that is rewarded gets repeated. So if we reward them for all the amazing things they're doing to us, they are to us, of course, they'll get to repeat those things. There'll be a replication of everything that makes them like stand out in our lives okay and then the bible party and the audio bible creation we're creating an audio bible in the process while we're studying the bible so we read a chapter of the bible every single day no matter how long or short a chapter is it's one chapter a day the name is what it is a chapter a day 
okay and what else do we do again on the chapter today of course we've been doing a lot of other things before some bible facts like the first um book of the bible last book of the bible the middle book of the bible the first chapter last chapter and stuff like that how many verses are in the bible how many chapters are in the bible how many books are in the first and old second testament in the old and the new testament and stuff like that we've done a lot of that so if you actually check up our old videos you're gonna see that and then when we're done with the things we think we could find we actually ended that particular um part of a chapter a day but still today we you know, sometimes some people come on here and they're like confused. They don't know what's going on, what is happening. So they're like, oh my God, um, what are they doing? I can't even participate, you know. But hey, you can participate. You can participate if you want to. Here we just get to um, put out what is good, what is honest, what can cause someone to grow and all that. Yay! Woman of God of Fire, Mom Tifa Melvis is here is here is here is here thank you i actually thought of you i thought of you yesterday it was today you get long life abby that's what they always say that way you think of somebody and the person shows up it means the person has long life of course you have long life yeah you have to stay long and long and long and spread this gospel to the ends of the earth so of course you still got time here and more so we have to meet shibi <laughs> we have to meet <laughs> we have to meet physically okay so we do all of that and then um so what is honest what is true what is helpful what can cause people to grow it could be your quiet time you are reading and god ministered something to you and you think it's important for us to learn you can bring it on on a chapter a day you might have been going through your day and you you saw something that inspired you or something that you know that is going to be good and helpful for us you bring it on a chapter a day so that's exactly what we do on here so you can say you don't have a contribution to make because you come and we're reading the chapter and we're talking about that chapter sometimes even when we're talking about a particular chapter god takes us to some other place entirely different totally different from what that chapter is but mostly it's after he has finished telling us about the chapter for the most part but you can always contribute and we are grateful like we appreciate your contribution any little bit of contribution that you make we really really do appreciate it and mom tipa mavis is one person who is always almost here even when she's busy she'll still create time and come on here and participate she always makes the comment section to be on fire so we're grateful to have her we're blessed that's my friend and sister she's one person who supports my everything that I do, like every single thing I do, this woman of God sus actually do this, does support this thing. When I balance, I will start coming like, yes, you better balance quick. I beg, balance quick. I'm coming live, and she she comes live sometimes. She has come live a couple of times, and we're really blessed by her because she has this practical. Um, experiences and ways to connect the Bible to whatever she has been through and that's what we want on the chapter today we don't want people to see the Word of God like it's some abstract thing It's for some specific people it's just a particular group of people that can do it no we all can leave the word if we really understand you know it's based on understanding when you don't have the right understanding about a matter it's going to look so challenging and so difficult for you but when you get the clear clear understanding you're going to be able to do it and do it so simply okay so let's go on and on and on this is a chapter a day today and our bible party is taken from the book of ezra chapter 3 and Ezra chapter 3 has about uh, 13 verses. This is a short read. So it's like after a long, then a short. Because chapter 2 had about 70 verses. Man, I was almost freaking out. But we did great. We did great. So let's go. We'll hand over the session to God first. And after handing over the session to God, we'll go to the... So we'll go to the birthday party. And after the birthday party, we'll do the Bible party. So let's get started. 
Father, we thank you for this beautiful day you've made. We rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for protection, provision, guidance. We thank you for all the good and amazing things you've done for us. We thank you for the hard moments because we know that in everything you work for good to them that love and serve you and are called according to your purpose. We know that it's all working out for our good. No matter how it turns out, even if the enemy meant it for evil, even if our friends, relatives, and loved ones meant it for evil, you always turn it for good. So, Lord, we want to say thank you. We really appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts. And we pray, oh God, that you're going to minister to us today in a very special way. Let your word come like a two-edged sword and get to our heart. And let it be planted on the fleshy tables of our hearts so that we're going to be able to live thereby. We know that the blessing comes in the doing not just the hearing so lord as we hear your word give us a grace and all that it takes to be able to leave the word as well so we'll be blessed increase while i decrease so it's going to be you and you alone that will be seen felt and heard throughout this edition of a chapter a day in jesus mighty and blessed name we pray with thanksgiving and all the saints shall say a big amen okay thank god that our bible chapter for today short because we have like tons and tons of people on our birthday book today guys it's like i mean we have a whole lot of people on here okay let's get on and i'm totally excited because one of my very favorite 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 uncles was born today my father my 90 minutes he was born today and i'm totally and calmly excited so he's going to be i'm going to talk about his birthday the last and yes mom Nyako, i actually remembered you today too i saw your name somewhere i wrote your name somewhere for something it's today is his birthday not supposed to be on the 19th wait a minute mom tipa melvis did i write to, did i write the wrong thing his birthday is supposed to be on the 19th right Oh, it's today, but I'm celebrating it on the 19th, yeah? Oh, then I need to adjust it. Mom, yeah, I actually saw your name today. Where did I... I, I wrote your name somewhere for something. I can't remember. And I saw it today. I wrote it in one of my books. Oh, it's today, but the celebration is on the 19th. Okay. So let me write it here. Baby Triumph. Oh, I'm good. I'm so good. I hope you're good too. So maybe Triumph was born on the 12th. So I have to take it up from the 19th. 19th November. <laughs> oh, it would have been that she, he was born one day after you. Oh, jeez. That's cool. So they're going to be celebrating your birthday and his birthday on the 19th. Or just his. <laughs> Baby triumph. Okay. Oh, sure. I'm going to give him a very special shout out. So let's go. Let's start the birthday party. Let's start the birthday party. Guys, please don't forget to shout. You know, when you shout, a lot more people come on here and we all get blessed. This is the word of God and we need the word of God to grow and to be better and to stand firm. We're in trying times, really trying times, people. I keep saying when I meet some of my friends and we're having a conversation, I'm like, even me as a child of God, having God and having all these promises and having hope of where I'll spend eternity, sometimes it's not funny. My day is just not funny. Then I'm imagining people who don't even know God at all. Like, how do they even cope? How do they even cope? Because sometimes it's 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 hard. Honestly, it's hard even for me who knows God, loves God, I'm serving God, and God is with me. Like, I'm imagining those who don't know God, what is what is really going on with them? Like how they go through, how they cope. <laughs> Mom said for me, say please share. It doesn't I, I'm telling you, it doesn't bite. <laughs> okay, so let's go, people. Let's go. Um, birthday party. The first person is Mr. Kenneth, aka Kenny the Bam Bam, and he is actually a friend of mine. We got connected when I went to live at my 
at my family friend's house that was the first time i was actually going to yaoundé oh my god i learned a lot of french and funny enough when i reached yaoundé people were thinking that i was the french person and my friend who had been in yaoundé for the i can imagine for as long as long she's the english person <laughs> Because I used to show off eh? any little French that I knew, I would speak. Oh. If I speak it wrong or I speak it right, I would speak the French. That's how I learned French. Oh. Just living in Yaoundé for, I think, a couple of months, maybe a month or two, there about. So that's why I met Kenny. Kenny was actually um, also a family friend. And he used to come to the house. We used to have fun. Oh, my God. We would laugh. We would chat. He's a very nice person, very friendly, very welcoming, and very um, fun to be with. There's never a dull moment with him. He always makes a lot of jokes. Oh, my God. This guy is so much fun. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Kenny. The next person is Mr. Gilbert Abander. Mr. Gilbert Abander, we got to know each other on Facebook, and uh, we became very good friends. The fact that I was serving God and loving God and doing the things of God online, he was very um, elated about it, like... A lot of people go like, oh, young people, most of this day, young people these days, especially ladies, hardly serve God. Sometimes when people say those things, it's funny for me because like majority of my friends serve God. So when they say it's hard to see a lady who is serving God at my age, I'm wondering like, which kinds of ladies do they know? You know, like all of my friend, my circle we all serve God and we love God, honestly. So when they say it, to them it looks like it's a very special thing. Like it's it's not normal. But to me it's like it's normal because all my friends serve God. You know, like that. Well, but to them it looks like it's very special. So he was like, oh, that I should keep doing what I'm doing. God is going to bless me. It may not look like it right now, but I should stay on course. And God is going to bless me. So he's one of those persons who gets to encourage me and then give that extra little push that gets to be needed for the most part and then the next person is mr ataubo mbakwa hope i pronounced the name right mr Bakwa writes like i mean this guy was just born to write he knows how to write and he writes so much sense so much wisdom that you need to go to on his page eagle's eye i've forgotten if that's the name of the page eagle's eye or something like that but even though sometimes he posts on his personal page, but sometimes he actually posts on his Facebook page. And the Facebook page, I think if I'm not mistaken, the, the name of the Facebook page is Eagle's Eye. So you go there and you're going to read a whole lot of sense. I mean, you grow your mind, you your mentality would change, you would learn a lot of things. Go there. He's a very nice person, very friendly as well. But if you try with his family, he's going to deal with you. You can do anything. You can batch. You can talk here and there and there. Blah, blah, blah. You can bluff if you want. But if you try it with his family members, hey, <laughs> you're going to see the side of him that you don't like, which I am just excited about because that's me. You can say anything to me. You can say anything, you know, around me or something, something. But if you dare with my family member or my really close knit friends, like my inner circle friends, I divide the case life and direct. I know get power. I know get power for the go left, right, front, back, and center and be nice. I did do you. I will pepper you as much as that. Don't try with my family members and my close knit, my inner circle friends. Don't even dare it. Okay, that's Mr. Turbo Baka Bakwa for you. That's what he does. Okay, the next person is Pastor Kema Kema. I got to know Pastor Kema as well on Facebook and then on a certain group that we were on. I can't remember who made me join that group. And then I got to know him there. And then I started following him consistently. And then I realized that he has a radio. And I was just all the more interested. He used to post us daily devotionals. And then sometimes he encouraged me to be writing my articles to to not only do the video format, that's one thing that has really been complicated for me to 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 write to do write ups about my videos that I've made. So I don't know why it's so complicated, you know. So he he actually encouraged me until I started. I started writing those articles and putting them up, and then he was he published it in his magazine. I think I I was published in about four or five editions. Yeah. 
I, I had a, a thing on about four or five editions on his magazine and it was really amazing and of course he has an online radio he also has um, he does a lot of transactions between China he can make you get the best and quality products and services he also has a printing press he also has a printing um, yeah printing company they, they render some prints and and print services and all that and what else um, Pastor Kima is quite multi-skilled so you can go to his Facebook page and actually check it out or yeah I think it's Facebook page ambassadors um, something ambassadors I'd have to find out and tell you guys again <laughs> Yes, but on the they have printing services, they have services where so you want to buy products and services from China and you want the best possible way to get it to you wherever you are. I think especially Cameroon, he is the best person. He's your best plug, you know, you know, your best bet. And then the next person is um Mr. Divine Bar. Mr. Divine Bar, we actually got to know each other when we're in secondary no high school. And we're in the same high school together. He's also a fun to be with person. Very welcoming, very friendly as well. And of course, they're the ones who used to make my day. They'll make me laugh. They'll make they made me enjoy my high school because I I left my secondary school and came to a new high school, new entirely. But they were there to actually make my day, just to make my stay in that place very beautiful. Okay. The next person is Mr. Edwin Dam. Mr. Edwin Dam, we got to know each other. Yes, still at high school and we became very good friends and we kind of disconnected after high school and then later on we connected we reconnected again thank god to social media we reconnected again and we became very good we we started keeping in touch online and uh, he's also one of those people who gets to encourage me to be my best to keep doing what i'm doing and of course i really really love that you know all these people get to encourage me to be my best to keep doing what i'm doing to keep doing the work of god when I please do, when I please do, on a serious note. Okay, and then the next person is Mam Tracy Campbell. Mam Tracy Campbell, I got to know her when I was in Cameroon. One time I got to meet her. She taught us um, praise dance, how to dance. Like, it, it's basically like dancing a song. Whatever the song is saying, we're dancing it. Like we dance, let's say, if they say praise, you know, praise like this glory used to be something like you know you shake your hands like you know like that so she taught us how to praise dance with dancing songs and it was really beautiful the choreography and i got to connect with her and she's an amazing person and then my signature was actually dressed she had dreads too so i was like wow and hers was very long so i was like oh we might never get this long <laughs> And she's very pretty too and she really 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 does love god i saw that you could actually do do god in diverse ways sometimes we kind of feel like oh you have to be preaching you have to be singing you have to be an usher you have to be in the intercessors ministry before you're blessing god we didn't know about other things you know like that even if you're an accountant you're a doctor you're serving god that's your ministry that's where god called you so ministry has not only to do with things you do in church. Let's not get it twisted. And then the next person is Mr. So Santana. Mr. So Santana actually was my neighbor. We used to stay just in front of their house. And their mom used to make this really delicious pies. Oh, God. <laughs> so I used to go there. When I go there, I meet him from time to time. We became very good friends. And we're talking. And of course, he moved to another town. We kind of disconnected for a while and then we reconnected again on social media and we get to talk from time to time and he's also one of those people who encourages me to be my best and then the next person is mr donald Mbinglo, aka don 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 the don and don can sing for the world he has a cool voice cool voice and he became a dad to his entire family at a very tender age because he lost their dad long 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 and so he was the only boy so he had to just take over the daddy daddy responsibilities basically <laughs> sometimes when they talk about daddy responsibilities people begin to think like oh doesn't mean that he was taking care of family financially no there is just that boy in the house 
who represents the father of the house and you know we need the daddy figure sometimes but we don't think we do especially for families who have lost their dad or don't have a father figure sometimes the brothers automatically take that place without them choosing to because it just happened to fall on them so that's done for you and of course he's actually doing a great job at being a dad for their how many girls one two three four girls yeah four girls so happy birthday to you don he can really sing the young man can sing you need to go to his page and find out about and it's i think he has a youtube channel as well he can put the link on here when he gets to see this so guys can go and uh, patronize whatever he does the next person is metro remind metro remind we actually went to the same secondary school together and i separated i left from there and went to another school we disconnected we later connected back again on our exit station group she's an amazing person see now my lawyer that too i can look for wala because i know i am <laughs> i'm covered <laughs> Metro, no fear, I don't go find Palava back. I don't even, Palava never lost, so I don't find her back. Okay, so Metro reminds she's actually a very smart, very hardworking, very pushful lady. And of course, okay, I think I'm still the only one who is tiny. She has increased a little bit. Of course, hers was even way better because she's tall. You know, we were the short, short and tiny. She was tiny and tall. So it wasn't that bad. Now she has increased in size, but me, I've not. It's like I have—I was born to be like this. I was born to be tiny. I'm getting a hold of it. I'm getting used to it now. Before, I used to feel bad, so bad. I struggled to get fat. It wasn't working. So I gave up on the issue of getting fat. Well, I struggled so much until they told me that I should eat, um, I should mix raw egg and milk. I told them that, okay. My desire to grow fat has ended. I just killed the desire. It died a natural death from on from there on. I tried all other kinds of things, but that one mm -mm, it couldn't go. How raw egg passed in my through my throat? Like how? But anyways, happy birthday to you, ma'am. Uh, Metro remind. And then the next person is Pastor Francis Splendor. Pastor Francis Splendor was actually our neighbor as well. They were living just in front of our house um, for a couple of times when I went back to Cameroon. And so he's actually an amazing person. He actually always prays for us, makes declarations on us. Me especially, though, makes declarations and blesses me. Every time he gets to meet me, he blesses me. Probably with a word or something good. Just something good. And it's amazing how some of those little things really, really matter to me. You know? It's bigger than giving me some physical things and some material things because those words go a long way to get to materialize in my life and start manifesting. And when it's manifesting, it's greater than any gift that anybody will give you because in that manifestation, there are lots of things you get that people might have not been able to give you physically, you know. So that's it. Happy birthday to you, Pastor Francis. The next person is mr stephen king mr stephen king i got to know him in dubai and we became very good friends more so we're more connected because i love football and he plays football so i used to go um cheer them while they were playing football and everything and all and of course he was my very good friend we used to be go to church and come out to church together we used to go for all these um tournaments when they had a football thingy i used to go on with them and it was really really amazing oh my god welcome daddy dong thank you thank you thank you for coming god bless you oh my god it has been like forever hope you're doing good hope all is well with you and then the next person is baby triumph oh my god baby triumph is the baby of one of our ardent listeners of a chapter a day that's mom tipper melvis baby triumph just like his name i know that he's a winner for life he was born to win i know this little man is going to stand out everywhere he goes and i know that because he is here because he's in this family he's going to bring a lot of blessings you all should just brace yourself he's coming with a lot of breakthroughs a lot of open doors and god is going to bless him with all kinds of blessings that 
you guys are just going to find it so easy and so simple to take care of him and bring him in the way of God. He's going to be one who is going to love God. He's going to be one who is going to stand out. He's going to be above his peers every single time, every single day. Baby Triumph is going to wow you guys. Just raise yourself and watch, okay? He is a victorious little man and he's going to grow victoriously like that, okay? The last but not the least on our list today, man, it has been a long, long birthday list. It's my favorite, 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 best uncle ever. Chief Mesoso the third. Chief Mesoso the third, aka Don Piero. <laughs> okay, that's my mom's younger brother. He's a chief, he's the one who took over the throne. So, of course, girls cannot take over. I don't know if that's why my mom didn't. Because my mom is the first. Uh, or is because my mom is all into church, church, church. And she thinks being the, the overseer or taking over the throne or something is not good for her. Well, I don't know whatever the, the chemistry or the long and short of it or the biology or the geography of it was. One thing I know is that <laughs> Uncle Peter is actually chief mesosa the third ruling and he's also the mayor of tico council i think so hope i didn't mix that up well aside from being that person who is very great and he can take up a lot of responsibility he's one of my favorite uncles because he was always looking out for me and see this is my uncle can brag about me from now to tomorrow <laughs> my uncle if you talk about me so they, hey, you pass go you go hawk electric pole as in my uncle will talk about me to people until sometimes he's talking about me i'm standing there i'm wondering whether it's me they're talking about <laughs> my uncle now one na case study uncle peter is like one of my best of best anytime that i get to meet him he wants to take me to this and that place to that place to that place and then of course he will spoil me with change like plenty change you see so i don't know I have always sat and thought about how I'm supposed to be a blessing to this my uncle. I've still not figured out. But I know that I owe him. Like I owe him big time. I owe him big time. When I say it, he'll just look at me and be like, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm your father. I'm supposed to spoil you. You know? It's my uncle. Like, since when I was in the university, he took it upon himself. Every time he missed me. Sometimes. I remember when my biological dad died. He was the one who actually got me to come. He, he didn't want me to sense anything, so he didn't come to get me. He actually got me to come to the house. And I went to the house, and I got there, and then he told me that daddy was dead. Oh, my God. He pampered me like crazy. He was like, you know that kind of thing? Like, I don't want this child to remember that she doesn't have a dad. Don Piero, my uncle, my chief, my mayor, <laughs> and my pee-pee. Pee-pee. Oh, my God. He made... My stay in Boya, awesome, like stupendously beautiful. And when he just crosses over and comes to Boya, oh no, I know I'm going to just be like, woo! When I was leaving from there, I cannot live with less than what. Talk about it. This girl was rich. <laughs> Baby girl was just flowing, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's my uncle. He's a chief. He's a mayor. He's a father, a very great father as well. Of course, he loves to do business and uh, he's also loving. He always loves to take care of us. He has done so much, so, so much for my family, a whole lot. I'm really grateful to God for him. And please, you guys should join me and pray for him that God should give him long life and prosperity so that I'll be able to be a blessing to him too. Somehow, I'm preparing. I'm trying to figure out what I should do. You know, these people who are like high up there, people who are at the top people who are blessed when you want to bless them it's kind of complicated because it, it feels like they have everything so you're trying to figure out what you can give them that is really going to be heartwarming <laughs> that's what is making making it so hard for me to get a gift or to get something really nice for my uncle so i appreciate him i appreciate him with words and all that but i want to do something really big that he's really going to love not just any kind of thing but i want to do something really big okay 
So yes, that's it for the birthday people today. Let's take that over again. The first person is Mr. Kenneth, a.k.a. Kenny the Bam Bam. The next person is Mr. Abanda Gilbert. The next person is Mr. Taubo Mbakwar. The next person is Pastor Kema Kema. The next person is Mr. Divine Bar. The next person is Mr. Edward Dam. The next person is Mam Tracy J. Campbell. The next person is Mr. Saw Santana. The next person is Mr. Donald Binglo, a.k.a. The Don, The Don. The next person is Metro Remind Gobia. The next person is Pastor Francis Splendor. The next person is Stephen King. The next person is Baby Triumph Tipa. And the last but not the least is Chief Mesosa, the Ted Don Piero. <laughs> Mayor of Tico Council, Uncle Peter. <laughs> okay, so let's pray for the birthday people. Welcome, Mr. Kevson Forks. Thank you for coming. God bless you. You're welcome. Like I say, please don't forget to share us out. When you share, a lot more people can come on here and we can get blessed. Today, our Bible party is taken from the book of Ezra, chapter 3. And he has 13 verses. I keep wanting to say first Ezra, second Ezra, because... We came from all those first and second books, first and second, first and second. <laughs> you guys should bear with me, okay? So let's pray for the birthday people and then we'll get ready to start the Bible party. Are you ready? Father, we thank you for all these amazing people who were born today. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you're going to open the windows of heaven and pour out the choices of your blessings upon their lives and rebuke every devourer. Lord, I pray that you're going to cause them to stand out and not fit in. You created everyone to be a solution to a problem on earth. And when anyone is in the place of their calling, fulfilling purpose, they definitely will stand out. Lord, I pray that you're going to present opportunities to them that will cause them to stand out. And as they are fulfilling purpose, oh God, that they are going to just keep doing what you ask them to do and how you lead them to go about it. And if they get to a place where they feel overwhelmed, where they feel tired, where they feel like they want to give up or they want to back out, they would hear a loud, clear voice that's going to say, this is the way walk down in it they won't derail they won't stray the path they will stay on course they will fulfill purpose and you use them as the people that the groaning nation is waiting for their manifestations they'll be the ones to be manifesting to the glory of your name and people will see your good works in their lives and glorify your father who is in heaven Father, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to cause them to be trailblazers, space setters, and wall changers in the mighty name of Jesus. That in their time, they're going to do great and marvelous things. You're going to back their words and their walk with signs and wonders to the glory of your name, O oh God. Father, I pray even as you open these beautiful pages upon their lives, write awesome stories, stories that would transform their lives and those around them, O oh God. That as there's an overflow of your blessings upon their lives, people who come in contact with them will lead literally rub off of the blessings from their lives and i pray that this blessing is going to shield them as a shield round about that no weapon formed or fashion against them shall prosper and any tongue that rises against them you shall condemn in the mighty name of jesus father i pray oh god now you're going to give them all it takes, oh God, to do your will and to do your beatings. Father, I pray that you're going to open every door that no man can shut and shut every door that is not of you. And Lord, we know that even these open doors, you've opened a fervent and effectual door before them, but there are many adversaries. So we pray and decree and declare that you go ahead of them and deal with all these adversaries so that they're going to march in gallantly into these doors and receive all the beautiful and amazing things that you've brought that you've kept for them behind those doors, oh Lord. Father, I pray that you're going to teach them all that it takes to not only get to the top, but to get to the top and stay there permanently. You're the master strategist. You're the great teacher. So we know that whatever techniques or strategies or methods that you give them to go on and use, oh God, that's what they're going to use and they're going to stand at the top. They're always going to be the head and never the tail. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you're going to open their eyes to see those they are supposed to be their snipers to. And those strategically position themselves to help these people. And of course, you're also going to strategically position their own destiny helpers around them. East, west, north, south, from back and center. Their destiny helpers are going to be available 
strategically positioned so when they also cry out for help help is going to be made available for them lord i decree and declare that you're going to divinely disconnect them from every person and thing that will cause them to stagnate or retrogress and you divinely connect them to people and things that will cause them to to progress and be their best version perfect all that concerns them lord and give them a sounds 126 state a state of continuous laughter rejoicing singing and thanksgiving lord bless them anything that they put their hands to do will work oh lord father that you're going to bless the works of their hands you're going to anything that they touch will be blessed it's your word and we trust it wherever they tread their feet upon you give it to them as a possession oh lord Father, bless them now and always. We know you're a God who never fails. You always answer. You always hear us. Lord, we know that all that we've prayed and asked is done already. And it is settled. Let money meet money in their pockets. Blessings meet blessings in their lives. Favor meets favor in their lives. Even as you clothe them with a the garment of praise, honor, and favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bless them to be a blessing in their generation. Lord, you say we should call on you and you answer and show us great and mighty things which you never know. Let that be a practical reality in the lives of your children today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And all the saints shall say a big amen, but I always say amen. 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 Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be in their lives. Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be in their lives. Seal the prayers. Amen. 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 In the blood of Jesus. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be. In their lives, let it be so. Amen, 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 amen. In their lives, amen. As I have prayed, amen. Let it be in their lives. I know Mam Tupa Melvis was singing. I am sure of that without any iota of doubt. Happy birthday to you all. God bless you. May He enlarge your coast and fill your bands with all good things. Happy birthday. God bless you tremendously. Mwah. Okay, people, let's now go to the Bible party. Are you ready? I was born ready, people. I was born so, so ready. Ezra chapter 3. I told you guys that I'm so excited about this book because my son's name is Ezra, right? Hmm. He's actually a smart young man. And of course... I told you guys that Ezra's writing has been spectacular so far. The first few chapters, chapter 1 and 2 that we read, was really amazing. Even though chapter 2 was basically like genealogy, a lot of people who left from captivity and came back to Judah and Jerusalem. But I'm sure before we get to the end of it, it has just 10 chapters. We're going to see a lot more to learn from and to go by. Okay, so let's go. Ezra chapter 3. And when the seventh month was come, and the children of Israel were in the cities, the people gathered themselves together as one man to Jerusalem. Then stood up Jeshua, the son of Josadak, and his brethren, the priests, and Zerubbabel, the son of Sheatiel, and his brethren, and builded an altar of the God of Israel to offer burnt offerings thereon, as it is written in the law of Moses, the man of God. And they set the altar upon his bases, for fear was upon them because of the people of those countries. And they offered burnt offerings thereon unto the Lord, even burnt offerings morning and evening. And they kept also the feast of the tabernacles, as it is written, and offered the daily burnt offerings by number, according to the custom, as the duty of every day required. And afterwards, offered the continual burnt offering both of the new moons and of all the set feasts of the lord that were consecrated and of one that willingly offered a free will offering unto the lord from the first day of the seventh month began they to offer burnt offerings unto the lord but the foundation of the temple of the lord was not yet laid 
they gave money also unto the masons and to the carpenters and meat and drink and oil unto them of zidon and to them of ty to bring cedar trees from lebanon to the sea of jopar according to the grants that they had of cyrus king of persia now in the second year of their coming unto the house of god at jerusalem in the second month began zerubbabel the son of shiltiel and josh and jeshua the son of Josadak, and the remnant of their brethren the priests and the levites and all they that were come out of captivity unto jerusalem and appointed the levites from twenty years old and upwards to set forward the work of the house of the lord then stood jeshua with his sons and his brethren cadmiel and his sons the sons of judah together to set forward the workmen in the house of god the sons of henadad with their sons and their brethren the levites and when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the lord they set the priests in their apparel with trumpets and the levites the son of asaph with cymbals to praise the lord after the ordinance of david king of israel and they sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto the lord because he is good for his mercies endure forever towards israel and all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the lord because the foundation of the house of the lord was laid but many of the priests and the levites and chief of the fathers who were ancient men that had seen the first house when the foundation of this house was laid before their eyes wept with a loud voice and many shouted aloud for joy so that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people for the people shouted with a loud shout and the noise was heard afar off this is the word of the lord and all the saints shall say big fat thanks be to god mm. let's find out what's written here so what were they talking about well, these people came from captivity and they had to rebuild the temple because the temples were destroyed. The house of the Lord was destroyed. So they needed to rebuild it again. And so they were choosing people in certain families that were going to do the job. Many hands do light work. So it's not like they're just going to take... Um, everybody had to um, send somebody like, you know, from their own place so that they can join together and get to do the work. And that's how Christianity is also supposed to be. We're supposed to help one another. Sometimes this person is just so focused on me, 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 myself, and I, and then the, the work is not going anywhere. Even God spoke about unity. When we're united and we put up one front and we decide to do something, it would happen. The children of Babylon, they wanted to build a tower to heaven. If God allowed them to be united the way they were, they would have built that altar to heaven. That um, um, tower, sorry. They would have done it. That's what the Bible tells us. That God was so sure, as in God, he had cut small. Like, if I leave the people so eh, they could do wonders. And he was sure that they could do it. Because it was true. There is There are some principles that when you just take on the principles, whether you're a believer or you're an unbeliever, if you take on those principles, they'll work for you. Oh yeah, that's the truth. That's the truth. God said, ah, if I know Chakara, the people, they eh, we will finally just see temple. We will finally just sit over heaven now. I've told these people to go and spread abroad. I don't understand where they come out with this kind of idea to gather together and build temple to come and meet us in heaven. What what should they be doing in heaven? <sighs> I don't create when I add more and she don't for they have dominion spread abroad, feel the earth. When I one can't stay when I for heaven, like how do you guys do this? <laughs> Anyways you know like so that's the power of unity that's how powerful unity can be anything that you decide so if we christians who have the word of god and the truth of the word we can actually be united i'm not talking about gathering together we can gather together and we're not united oh yeah mm -hmm. we all can be in one room praying and doing all but we're not united trust me unity is like we all have one goal we all have one aim. We want to achieve this thing. There's some people that are in a group. They don't want to achieve the thing that everybody's achieving. They don't want to participate. They are mad. They are angry. They are grumbling. Mm -mm. Those people, they were together. I mean, said so they don't pink on the say would go heaven. We are building to heaven. That's our goal. And they all had one mind. God fear. Said the chakra, this thing. What are you guys doing? Are you guys joking, but joking. 
Are you playing by playing? <laughs> so please, unity is very powerful. It's very, very important. And so these people came, came together. Um, they came together and then they offered burnt offerings and then they followed everything that was written in the law of Moses because for a very long time, a lot of them had not been reading the books that had the laws of Moses in it. So it was when, um, the king, the previous king before this one came, he actually saw the book, he read it and then they had to rebuild the temple and then they had to start doing everything that was in the law of Moses. So they had to do burnt offerings and the people who were supposed to do the burnt offerings were the ones doing it. It's not like anybody just woke up because, oh, I'm the one who read about it. So I'm the one who must do it. Ah, yes, Mount Mavis, that's the word. They were in one accord. They were in one accord. And... Um, this thing of because I'm the one who found the book or because I'm the one who read this thing so I'm the one to do it it has killed a lot of people it has it has just um, um, downplayed a lot of people like the, the the Lord might truly minister a song to you you write the song but because you're the one who wrote the song you want to sing the song my dear you know get voice your gift is to write the song give the song to people whose gift is to sing so that we can be blessed by this song let me be honest with you. I will not listen to your song because they've written that it's gospel song. We ijo de niya niya. No, honestly, oh, let me be honest. Oh, babe, I might come for your launching. I might just to patronize you. You know, I'll buy the CD, but I'm not gonna listen to them after I come over that place. On a serious note. And it will not be like the Holy Spirit didn't minister to you. And when the song is not progressing, when it's not, when it's not selling like it was supposed to sell, we we'll start blaming God. Not be God be the problem. Now you. Integrity music, there are lots of songs that Domoin has sang that he didn't write them. There are lots of songs that Ron Kennelly sang, he didn't write them. Integrity music is a music industry. There are some people there whom their work is only to write songs. There are some people that we don't know them, but they're the ones who wrote the song. And they're getting the paid. It, it Basically, what it is, is the background people. And that's how intercessors are also in church. Nobody knows them. But they are the ones that are like, I would say, basically the pillars of the church. If those people are not praying their hearts out and standing the gap for the church. Hmm, even some of these pastors and ushers and all these people eh? Hmm. You guys will you you feel the pain, but nobody knows them. So in our in our generation, everybody wants to be seen. Everybody wants to be known. It's not everybody we're supposed to be at the forefront. Not everybody is going to be, um, the 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 forefront person. You're not going to be the stage person, the person that everybody is going to see. There are people that are born to be stage people. There are people that are born to be background people. Please know which one you are and know peace. Know which one you are, no peace. Oh, because God ministered a song to you. Now you want to sing the song. Your voice, eh? Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's just spoiling the song for us. I'm not mean, no. Oh. I'm just telling us the truth. So that we should do the right thing. Let our song sell. Let it minister. <coughs> if Domoin sings today, I'd go for backside. Yes. I'd go for backside. I go listen, no. Oh. I sing on a serious note. I'm not saying he can sing that, but I'm just trying to tell you how much of the way when he sings is soothing and he ministers. So if he carries anything and jumbled it up and, and put it, apart from that, my spirit might reject it. But whatever he would sing, it would be a blessing. It would minister to me because I would, I would be able to listen. Because it's palatable, because it's, it's good. I can listen to it. Imagine somebody just picks a container by you and been hitting it. It's noise, but it's not good noise. But imagine someone singing, like Don Moy singing. I've come before you today. And there's just something that I want to say. You know go listen. I burn now. Mom to put my I'm more shy. You cannot do my life. And then when things are not working the way you expect it, you begin to wonder whether it's God who really gave you the song. Yes, God gave you the song. You were supposed to write it and give it to the person that he has called to sing. That's how you put get blessed together. We have to learn how to connect with one another. We can't do these things by ourselves. 
that's why god makes us to connect and connect and connect to this person this one is a hand this one is a head this one is the eye this one is a toe this one is a every part of the body has a function and it's important know your part and know peace know which part of the body you are know your functions okay so the levites were doing this thing uh, as she be he was imagine Saul. he was a king who i don't know who sent him to go and be doing priestly work he said that because the people pushed him which people which people I say, oh, because nobody knows me, so I want to sing. I must sing my song so that all mama know me. My dear, don't kill the song that God has given to bless the world because you want to do it by yourself. Please, help us. Help us receive that song that you receive from the throne of heaven by giving it to the person who can sing it well so we can, in turn, listen to it. I beg. I beg, I beg, no. I take God name beg, no whatever thing oh i'm just saying music because that's the easiest one that comes to my mind but there are lots and lots of other things there are some things that maybe um is supposed to be a book a book you don't know how to write no just jumbo jumbo or thing then go put them find a publisher find somebody to check it and proofread it and do it god is a god of excellence a lot of us christians we just get mediocre and we like oh the glory is upon the thing you know you one man of God said one time he went and preached in a school, eh? A high school. That the students never heard one thing that he said because they kept correcting his grammar, correcting his mistakes, correcting his sentence structure. You've gone and made a fool of yourself. Not be God send you so. So when God has told you, aren't you supposed to learn how to speak to this set of people? You think it's just I beg yeah. Don't make the glory of God to be annoying. The glory of God is very beautiful. But there's some things you have to learn. There's some things you have to put in place. I've told you guys, right, before, I never used to understand how to look at the camera. I never used to understand. But I've been learning and growing. And people are telling me, oh, you need to do it like this. Or sometimes my lighting never used to be good. You remember when my phone gets bad, I'm here and I'm begging you with all of my heart. That it's like that my phone has a problem. That's why it's so blurry and stuff. I could have a good message, but... This thing is not just good for the eyes. You want to make people spoil their eye in listening to the gospel. Even if it's you, you will not like it. I know sometimes we'll be saying things like, oh, but people who are making fun, if you see there, this is not, those are the people, oh my dear, the devil knows how to magnify some things that have no use in this life just to make you who is doing the right thing to be feeling bad. Know that I know peace. So. Your time for shine the camp. I beseech <laughs> my sister and I really I beseech you see eh? I beseech you people please help us help us and do the right thing give it to the right people to do it if you know you you have your part you might not be the spotlight person you might be the background person know that I know peace the background person will get their reward God is just he will give you your reward but you have to know and 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 really accept it and be happy with it because that's you fulfilling purpose as God wants because that's the whole idea the most important thing is to fulfill purpose as God wants and so they went on and everybody was doing what they had to do um, Saul in his time he thought that he could do the priesthood it was not his job it was not his job he didn't have to do that thank God for us in this our generation who can be priests and kings because the veil is torn and we're giving access to come right to the throne room of God and receive and get blessed and receive from God whatever we need, you know. So now we can we can function in both areas. But before, it wasn't like that. So you had to do your stuff. And I kind of emphasize about these people. They're giving money to masons, to carpenters. If you're not a carpenter, they won't give you the money. If you're not a mason, they won't give you the money. If you're not from Thai, because Thai people and Zidonians, they were the ones who were good in actually bringing trees from Lebanon. They were the ones who were good in cutting down trees and being able to transport. So you have to always be growing in your area of specialty. If you know this is who you are, learn things. Okay, this is the level I am today. Tomorrow, you're your own competition. Tomorrow, what can I do to add? So I'm at level 10. What can I do to add to get to level 11? What can I do to add to get to level 12? It's not about what this person is doing or what that person is doing. Yes, you can look at people and learn. Okay, um, 
this is what this person did to get to level 11 so i can learn and do it this is what this person did and just like that but it should be that you're focused on being your next best you're in competition with nobody stay for your lane and do what god wants you to do ask god every day how can i make myself better how can i do this thing better how can i do this in a better way we've done a lot of things we've grown on a chapter a day trust me we've grown on growing life basically i have grown i've learned a lot from people a whole lot i originally i never knew what what ring light was going to do for me i got to a point i had to get ring light for myself i got to a point i had to get some um, nice backdrops like the ones you see i had to get you know other things why i can comfortably spend in those things because it's the thing that i love it's the thing i'm passionate about and that's what god has called me to do another person whom this is not what their thing is why would they be buying all this stuff no so I can confidently use my resources and stuff to buy my stuff because I know that it's something that I'm passionate about. It's something that I'll do for the rest of my life, you know. But someone who is, this is not what they're called to do. When they go and start buying that, they'll struggle, struggle, struggle. Then when they stop doing this thing, that problem, they, what will they keep the ring light? What will they keep the whatever? What will they keep the this stand? What will they keep? My brother, that's why it's good to know where you're called. Though. It's good to know your calling so that you'll be spending wisely. So that you not waste your resources. On things that you don't need oh yes you know waste your resources on things that you know you don't need imagine me going to buy canvas now people with a paint the draw need canvas now I'm going buy canvas so how canvas help me on going life it can't so that's waste of resources so let's get it right and know our jobs let's know what we are supposed to do and be the best when they talk about um, 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 golf everybody's mind is just going to tiger woods when they talk about basketball everybody's just going to lead uh, michael jordan he's late but he's still really ringing in that area when they talk about evangelists people begin to talk about um um they'll begin to talk about this guy how that how could i even miss his name again a, a lot of names are coming to my to my mind when they talk about revivalist john knox and all the rest those names are there why because these people were so good at that particular thing their names started getting attached to it oh yeah but some of us our names are attached to bad things you want to talk about something evil they attach your name to it please may god help us so that our names will be attached to good things in our generation so they gave money to these people and those people's names were attached to those things because they were doing extremely well in those things. It's nice to know a little bit of this and that and that, but it's great. Benny him. Oh my God, you're good. You know, when, when you just hear some things, you want to talk about healing, you just begin to call Benny him. You want to talk about the power of God. You just begin to talk about these people like that. You want to talk about teachings, great teachings. You begin to hear late Miles Monroe and all those things. They are names that are attached to some things. What is your name attached to? If your name is called amongst your friends, let me just reduce it to that level. Amongst your friends, what would they say? If they call anything media, I would say three quarters or even 99% of my friends will call me. If they say anything media, if they ask anything that has to do with media, 99% of my friends will call me. Oh yeah. Just like they normally send opportunities to me. I have friends a lot who send opportunities to me when it comes to media, when it comes to journalism and all those things. They send it to me. Why? Because they know that that's the thing that I love. That's what I'm passionate about. Oh, yeah. They don't see doctors send it for me, no. There's something about a doctor, something about a nurse. They send it to me. Abba now. No. No. So you see, let all of us be good at our things so that when the time reaches, they'll call us, they'll choose but us. They chose the masses, they chose um when it was time to sing and praise God and give thanks to God, they chose um the children of what did they say again? Where is that place again? Let's find it. Some people were, were good at playing cymbal, some people were play, good at playing trumpet, some people were good at just doing sacrifices on the altar. Um so they, they finished building the foundation of the house. And when they finished doing it, 
they had to thank God and praise God, you know. And um, that got me to, to think. A lot of us, we always want to just see the big picture before we start thanking God. Even the little things that God is doing that is growing us and taking us to the place where he wants us to be, we're not very appreciative. We don't have an attitude of gratitude. We need to have an attitude of gratitude if we're going to be able to enjoy the goodness of God. Every little thing God does for you, thank him. I thank my friends sometimes for the things they do for me and they tire me. Princess, take a easy now. Appa. Now all these smarty go thank me so so they go they like say I don't you cannot understand. You could as much as not do it. But you did it. So it's something. I should appreciate you. I should appreciate you. But God will do these little things and we're not grateful. They had not yet built the temple. It was just the foundation that was laid. They sat there and decided to take uh -huh, the sons of Asaph. They were the ones that were good with the symbol. And then the, they, said, they said the priest in their apparel with trumpets. The priests were the ones doing that. The Levites, which was the son of Asaph, they were the ones good in symbol. Just to praise God. Just to thank God. Because the foundation had been laid. And they sang songs together. Praising and giving thanks unto the Lord. Because he is good for his mercy endured forever towards everyone towards israel for the lord is good 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 and his mercies endure forever for the lord is good and his mercies endure forever come on sing with me for the lord is good for the lord is good for the Lord is good, for the Lord is good, for the Lord is good, and His mercies endure forever. Come on! For the Lord is good, and His mercies endure forever. And they were just singing and dancing and thanking God and being excited about the great things that God had helped them to do. He brought them out of captivity, brought them back to the land that he had promised to their forefathers and to them. And of course, they have gone so far until they've been able to lay the foundation. But many of the priests and the Levites and chief of the fathers who were ancient men that had seen the first house, when the foundation of this house was laid before their eyes, wept with a loud voice and many shouted aloud for joy. Somehow, I, it, it, it gets me a little bit confusing. I don't know whether they were weeping, like it was tears for joy, or they were weeping because the foundation of this house was better than the other, so it would be tears for joy, or they were weeping because the foundation was not as good as the old one. I don't know. But you know, our parents, they have their ways of looking at things. You know, the people of old, they'll see something and they'll be like, huh. Ah these young people you know you know how our parents don't like rap and hip hop they feel like that's not godly but god ministers to people like that because he needs to get the youths who believe in hip hop oh yeah oh yeah so they might they might be feeling like oh no they're weeping when they see us dancing hip hop and rap and reggae and the rest they're like oh my god these children are gone they've lost it but of course, God doesn't see us like God. He's happy that we're being caught. Even the people who are interested in rap and reggae, they can also be won over to the kingdom. I have one of my pastor, Pastor um, Prophet A.B. Mongo. He always does this cowboy kind of dressing and this kind of young, kind of young adult kind of dressing to go and preach to the young adults so that he can fit in. The Bible says, be all things to all men so that you can win them over. He didn't say go and be a prostitute so that you can win prostitutes over. No, I beg. Mo no mix her up. Um, this scripture actually came to my mind a few days ago, but I couldn't put my hand on the book. Right? Oh my God! Yeah. So you can imagine. See now, the Holy Spirit has just brought it to your remembrance because you have read it. Imagine if you had not read it, you would. You will not have been, the Holy Spirit will not be able to even bring it to your remembrance to know that this is what it is. 
That's why we encourage that you read the Bible every day, study the Bible. Sometimes when you're studying it, as at that time, it will not even make sense to you. It might not even be needed. But the day that it will be needed, the Holy Spirit will bring it to your remembrance. I'm telling you that lots of times that the Holy Spirit brings a particular scripture to my remembrance. Sometimes I even feel that it's an adage. It's just a proverb. Until I go to the Bible and then the Holy Spirit will direct me to the scripture. And then I'll go and read it. And I'm like, ah, it was in the Bible. I'm feeling like the English proverb and all these things. <laughs> It is well. So the spirits are weeping. It's just the same way. They might be weeping and looking at us and like, oh, this hip hop, oh, the reggaeton of the church. Hey, my God. Like, oh, these children have missed it. They'll just, just crying and saying to the Lord, show us the ancient path. Lead us towards the eternal. <laughs> It's not like these things that the children are doing. I know that sometimes we can go beyond, we can go overboard. We can just do it beyond the normal. So the fear for us, they get worked up because some people can get overboard and get carried away and get into trouble instead, you know. So that's why they worry. It's not like they don't want us to enjoy, they don't want us to serve God the way that we should and we can. They just want us not to miss it because some of these things... Hmm, it's easy to get caught up and just get it all mixed up. So these people were crying and they were, they were weeping aloud. But because the shout of the victory, the shout of the rejoicing was bigger, was wider. They say so that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people. So there were some people who were weeping when they saw the foundation. <clears throat> And there's some people who are rejoicing. So you could not know the difference between the weeping and the shouting because the, 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 the thing was just loud. It was outright loud. And that's how even in these our days, sometimes some people are getting excited. Some people are crying. The older generation is looking at some of the things we're doing. There's some things that would do that good. There's some things that would do that bad. And the older generation is looking and they're really weeping for us. They're crying because they know that in those days, I can just imagine people in Ananias and Sapphira's days looking at us today. They'll be weeping. But we we'll think they're weeping like it's tears for joy. It's not. Ananias and Sapphira to tell you the story. That you can't afford to lie to the Holy Spirit. Even if Neatin. You get? Namatin, so why not? No. Even if Neatin, no lie. If you know Angia, no Gia you. Just don't give it than to tell lies. So that's how serious it was. Though. <laughs> that's how serious it was in those days. So we have to be very, very careful. We have to be very, very careful. So we need to know when the cry that our parents or the older generation is crying is for good or is for bad. But sometimes because this generation were all as, as population, were all about the highest number of followers and likes so we just think that oh because all these people are hailing this or saying this that's the right thing no no sometimes people are crying people are weeping but we're seeing it as oh no this is good and our forefathers our parents are like oh my god this is not how you're supposed to be lord help these children and we don't get it May the good Lord help us in Jesus' name. May we be able to come out from all this. So, I told you guys that the book of Ezra is really beautiful. So, this is done and dusted for today. I don't know if you have any other thing to add. If you want to add, you can go ahead and add it. If you don't have any other thing, then we can wrap up with the session for today. And I'm hoping that tomorrow you can go ahead and read Ezra chapter 4. And we come back here and have a swell time together. And Mam Tipa Mavis says, remember, when we're reading about how Moses built the tabernacles and how big and magnificent it was, because the, discri the discrimination was straight from the description was straight from God. But this present temple was just a camouflage. Oh yeah. So they were crying, they were they were weeping, like actually weeping, like they were sorry. That's true. The first temple that it built, God gave the descriptions. He gave every single thing. But this time it was just people's minds. So they looked at it and they were like, see these people are rejoicing for this thing. If they saw what was here before this. Mm, that's how some of us were excited for small, small chicken, chicken blessings that we get. Small, small chicken things that we do on our own and we have. Meanwhile, if we wait for God's best, we go shock. We say go shock now. We go look at it. It says, 
we were like they that dream that's how it will be but now we're just so hasty we're just so microwavish we want it now 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 if it's not now no day me day we begin to give god embargo if by the month eh ma i never married if by the month i never born i don't come on me for this jesus thing no i know day me day again if the people are not watching my videos, if they are not following me on social media, God, I'll just go to do me my thing the way it cause people that will follow me. Ah, after they've given me many ideas now, cooking is always raining. People always want to eat, they always want to cook, so I can go and do cooking. People always want to do what? What, what else did they advise me to go and do it? I, I tell them, so when I see me so, I want to do something that can be consistent. And the one that God has helped me is the one that I'm consistent with. If I start all that cooking thing, I go hook. I, I can assure you guys, I'll reach somewhere that I'll get stuck. And I don't plan to do that. So you guys just leave me, let me be. Let me be doing what God has directed me to do. I, it's, it's, I really, everybody loves to have it good. Like, oh, people are doing this thing on Facebook and they're getting paid. People are doing this thing on YouTube and they're getting paid. I love that to happen to me too. That's some side income. That's some extra income that I would really love. I'll be happy but if it's not coming, should I go and do what other people are doing just to get money and then leave what God wants me to do? <laughs> That's crazy. God, you better behave or I go misbehave. <laughs> like in threatening God. I'm telling you, people are so crazy. They'll be threatening God. I'm like, and I'm like, ah, now wow. I seen only your boss, your boss don't do, do you kind, kind thing that you never ever threaten him. There are some people that are in your life that are doing you worse things. You're not threatening them. You're still there, walking like small slave. You're doing everything that needs to be done and everything. And the funny thing is that some of us, were not even doing what God wants us to do for the things to happen. But we're still blaming God and still giving him embargo. God will tell you that, okay don't go to this place go to this other place oh don't stay in this country stay in this country oh don't do this kind of job do this other job you're refusing to do all those things so and then you're still giving god embargo on top that maybe your husband is going to meet you by in dubai you day you now for um, 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 um you you day you now for america maybe god wants your husband to meet you in dubai you day for america may do her may do her he has told you go to dubai you no america be the best place so america is like 100 francs to heaven one day one day when i as you did it you know go get the master now and then you start giving god embargo now and then finally you probably just go and do your own kind of thing that you want to do you go now to egypt go and carry husband there trouble you start blaming god again god bear why bear why i am serving you why is this man like this god send you you know send you now you could carry a two for go Finish your fufu. Abba. We should stop blaming God for many things that we do by ourselves. We should take responsibility and accept our stupidities and the many, many wrong things that we do. That God has mercy and that God can be merciful and still help you even in your stupidity and your stupid actions that you have taken doesn't mean that we should just take him for granted now. It need work so. It need work so. Anyways, that's said and done. We're done with Ezra chapter 3 for today. We're done with the chapter a day. Tomorrow is another day. And this is Saturday. So I would say again, please prepare your stuff for Sunday today. <laughs> Iron your clothes. Find the clothes you want to wear, especially women. You wake up in the morning and then you look at your wardrobe and then you're confused. You don't even know what you want to wear. I beg, just make the decision today. No one go pick the clothes tomorrow. Then the zipper don't spoil. Or the one button cut off. Or one this, and then now you start contemplating on which one you should. I beg, choose today. Choose the clothes today. I beg, now beg, now. I beseech thee, brethren, choose thou thy dress that thou shall wear on Sunday today. <laughs> choose thou thy shoe that thou shall wear on Sunday today. I take God and beg you. Me, I'm free because my church is online. I could don't need to choose any dress to wear. <laughs> But you all prepare today. Just prepare today. If you're meeting the the president or something, I'm sure some people will even go and stay at the gate of the presidency the day before. You know, you prepare before time. If you have a job interview, some people go to the place an hour early. 
but you're having a meeting with the creator of the universe and you're coming late and some people come late and they're walking majestically and distracting every other person who is seated down it's painful it is painful so honestly we're just taking god for any kind of thing because nobody is there to sanction us right you go to work late your boss is going to give you a query at some point when you do it too many times they're going to cut it from your salary darling but no god is not there to actually give you query he's not there to actually you know cut it from your salary or something you know i be that not pay you to go to church right so you just do it anyhow you know it works so now so god to go to do you with your blessings you know hope so you know go blame me i should do you any any i'll give you any any blessings let's us be be honest now you do god any any i give you any any blessings no complaint what you sow is what you get so let's prepare our stuff for tomorrow today so don't wake up and start getting confused all over the place we don't get up and start giving excuses as oh this is weekend i have to take care of the children weekday you take care of that plan to pick in them then you go to school in time you go work in time why not only day for church plus church is even later than school and work jesus and you don't need to give these children snacks you know you don't need to prepare their lunch you don't need to prepare their snacks that they have to take along to school so you should even have much more time child of money don't turn it you ah yeah you can lie to me you can lie to people you cannot lie to god you know now you know when go go put that tv for your front so you go wash hand that's by the ways. I always get to say I love you so, so very much. But God loves you a bit more. <laughs> get to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get a lot of updates each time we upload a new video or we get to go live. It has been your favorite girl, Princess Clayton, Queen of Hearts and Laughter, <laughs> on a chapter a day. Tomorrow is another day. It's going to be Ezra chapter 4. This is the 15th book of the Old Testament and the 15th book of the Bible. Hope you all are having a swell time. Happy weekend, people. Lord, we thank you for your word. We pray, God, that we're going to be able to live by the word. We're going to be able to do the things you want us to do, the way you want us to do them. So we're going to get blessed just like you promised. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Pray that you continuously empower us and strengthen us to do the things that we have to do. For those who are just waking up and starting their day, I pray you give them an awesome time. And for those of us who are about to go to bed, that you're going to give us sleep, sound sleep, and sweet dreams. And by your grace, we'll get up tomorrow strong and kicking to continue the day's activity. I pray that you're going to give us all that it takes to be able to prepare today for service tomorrow. And of course, the expectation of your children when they go to these gatherings will not be cut short. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Mountain Pop Melvis already got me with that way. Yes, ciao, ciao. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Mountain Pop Melvis, you're just sweet. Okay, bye, everybody.